He's done with what I've taught him. Just amazing. <laughs> One week ago tonight, Chris Blue landed that last spot on NBC's The Voice. Alicia Keys was fired up. Chris, the 27-year-old worship leader at Cokesbury Church, moving on to the battle rounds tonight. And before he does that, we're thrilled to have him in studio with us now. How you doing, big guy? I'm doing good, man. Good to see good you, to Russ. Good to see you, too, as always. <laughs> yes, sir. That you, While we were watching that, you said that's the first time I've seen her reaction. I, yeah, I like didn't. Like on television-wise. Right. Like on stage, I didn't know that that happened. And so seeing that was really refreshing. It, yeah, that was crazy. Like, yeah. Ah, yeah. So. You have performed since you were a little guy. Yes, sir. But what was it like doing it out there on the Universal Studios property with all the people watching? You got the stars up front. Oh, man, it's one of the most amazing feelings and experiences I think I've ever had in my life thus far. Um, I tried my best to not think about those guys right, sitting there right. and just perform as if, you know, I'm at church. Yeah. And so um, that's what I did. And. Uh, fortunately, you took them to church. Well, uh, well that's, that, that's, that's, that's the plan. We're going to try to take them every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you, East Tennessee, uh, they support their folks around here, as you know. So it's going to be a lot of fun uh, to watch. All right, let's talk about your family. You got to experience last week with them at a watch party. You had a lot of your, your brothers like there, your mom there, and, sure and it, we're looking at it right now. But what was that like, too? experience and share it with them because they've done so much in your life man to see uh my family be able to experience this moment with me um uh, just overjoyed you know filled with 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 joy and, and and love and just to have that moment i'm just so grateful to god because um it's a moment that we'll all remember i, I believe for the rest of our lives <laughs> that makes me just smile all right so you did an interview with nbc and talked yeah. about validation and we, we want to take a look at this with you i do have a word i think it was it was validating it says maybe you are good enough you know I fought that for so long. Like I didn't, one of the reasons why I didn't want to do it was because I didn't think I was good enough. But when she turned, validated me, it says, you are good enough. Maybe you can do this. Yeah. Sky's the limit now. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, it's Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. Just amazing. Um, let's talk about Alicia Keys. How, how great has she been? Oh, Coach Alicia, I like, <laughs> like to call her. Um, she's been phenomenal. Man, what you see on television is what you get. You know, she's sweet humble, kind, loving, um, down to earth, musical genius. I think I'm running out of awesome words yeah. to say. She's, she truly is phenomenal. Such a sweet spirit and, like and I'm so glad I'm able sure to have the, the opportunity yeah. to be on her team. Just, just really cool. Um, all right, so we know you have a very tight family. Yes, sir. Um, one of your brothers, uh, Michael, he can play some ball. He's okay. He's not bad. No, 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 I was kidding. He's, he's really good. No, he's really good. Amazing. That's the family. So we have Michael with us. Michael, tell us what you do, because you just came in from Florida. You're going to be with him tonight to watch all this. Yeah, buddy. Um, I'm right now uh, currently on basketball tour with a team called Court Kings. It's professional street ball. We travel all around America, and we also venture out and travel out, out in the country as well. So. And, and it's a ministry. Yes. It's, the tour is Christian based. Yeah. Um, so I'm excited about that, and I'm also excited about you know what guy is doing for my my brother Chris. Incredible. I'm so proud of him. Uh, I know, and the, I've known you guys for a while, but the love you all have to each other is encouraging uh, to everybody that's family. I mean, as a dad of three, I love seeing the support you all have together. PJ, I know you're fired up. You're all in with this oh, too. Man, I'm so excited. <laughs> to see baby brother, you know, and watch him over the years and finally get to this to this place. It's like a dream come true. It is. Yeah. And and you said something to me we, when we talked on the phone. Uh, here's some old family photos that I absolutely love. Oh, gosh. No. I mean, mm. we're going to be looking at these for years to come. Where did you get that? that? Where did you get that? We don't know where we got this stuff. I, you know, you sent me two. You texted me two, but we got a lot more than that. Oh, my We have gosh. other sources. 
And that I love that picture. Wow. All right, My so eyes are closed. Chris and I were talking and, and we were saying, hey, it looks like Michael's going to be coming in. And you're like, what? And you said, don't ask Michael about any basketball tips. He doesn't know much. That's right. If you've never seen Michael Blue play basketball, I think we're going to show the video. Unbelievable. All right, Mike, take us through this. They're going to roll through this thing. But this is kind of what you do. What is that? Your chin's on the rim. Man. Like you're putting what, a $5 you, bill on top I, of the backboard I and bring mean. a change down. <laughs> <laughs> but this is what you do. This one, um, this one in slow motion. If, watch the television right now. <laughs> That's, incre that's incredible. I know. I, you it, ever seen the movie Angels in the Outfield? Yes. I think Angels in on the basketball court is <laughs> So the at some sequel. point he's going to wake up and not even be able to shoot a three-pointer. <laughs> <laughs> he just going to be he's not even able to shoot a layup. Oh man. <laughs> this is so cool. Ta this brotherly bond you have. This is what the whole family. I mean, your whole family's yes, like sir. it, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, it's all about family. God and, and family. Yeah. How important is it to you as you're going through this process with the voice? Um, I tell people it's not necessary, it's essential. I think That's it's good. what helps me um, cope through everything, you know, that I have to deal with um, being out there and the nerves and just the stress. When you have love, when you have your brothers with you, when you have your family with you, man, um, I, it's, it's like having your angels with you as well. And so um, these guys have been incredible. My mom, my sisters, all my siblings and extended family. Everyone's been Knoxville, my Knoxville family. Florida, just all over America. You guys have been just incredible. Yeah, I have a feeling you have family you don't even know about yet that's going to be voting, <laughs> doing all kinds of stuff. Well, vote, vote, vote. <laughs> yes. Praise on. Tonight, 8 o'clock, right here on Channel 10, you can uh, watch The Voice and uh, see what happens in that battle round. You guys will be watching it together, I'm, I'm sure, again, right? Yes, sir. That's yes, pretty sir. fun for you to be. You, Man, you, get it. Awesome. you don't have a game till April, right? Uh, May. May, okay. So you get to hang in town with your brothers. Yeah. And so yeah. cool. So all right. So we got this voting thing going on called the megaphone. We want to ask you, if he advances on The Voice, what style of music would you like for him to sing? So we've got, uh, nice. we've got gospel, we've got reggae, is it reggae up there? Rhythm and blues, country, pop, all of them. You can vote with that WBIR app. Best of luck to you tonight. Thank you, Russ. All right. Thank you. Good to see you, Michael. Yes, sir. Always good, guys. You. God bless you. Good seeing you. Yes, sir.